Now Sir is going to release some of the pressure applied with the blue pencil so we get a lighter blue as we come lower down. All right. So you're not pressing as hard as you were before. All right. So from a darker blue, we're coming lighter because we're coming behind now. Behind, behind where the house and the trees ought to be. So we don't want it too, too dark. Now that we've covered this area, so it's going to use a deeper blue, a darker blue, on top, at the top of the sky here, all right? So cover with this darker blue above. And keep coming down, and so we'll show you how it should end. So there we are, we put in the darker blue on top, right, to blend in with the lighter blue. Okay, normally you have 12 colors, uh, colored pencils, of all different sorts. So choose a color. I'm now going to put in my house. Uh, now, children, uh, it doesn't matter what kind of house you have if you don't have a house and you have an apartment you know just draw what you how you see where you live you know and um, I'm gonna put in a like a red roof just for so and come this way come like that Put in my roof first. Okay. And come with my black lightly outlining my walls to the house like this. Put, put down the foundation, the bottom of the house, just to get an outline of what it looks like. Maybe a circle just there to show a, a window where some light can come in. Um, maybe a window here, another one here. Right. Now, whatever I'm doing here, I don't want you to copy me. I want you to do your own thing. I'm just giving you an example of how, of what we're doing. All right. So I want you to draw your yard, your house, your, your land, uh, whatever you want to put in it. All right. A nice frontage here. All right. So we're looking for a nice little front door to go there. All right. These windows. Like that. So has decided to go with an orange facade, a front. All right, so I'm putting down my orange right now. As I've put the orange, I'm going to put some shadows going a little darker with the orange around certain areas because the sun will shine and it will cast shadows and it's going to make your picture look more realistic. Underneath the eave here, or the roof, I'll come a little darker, press a little harder with the orange to get that effect. Uh, this piece in with the front of the house, cast a little shadow here to show a bit of depth. Alright, and again this side the same. Now I'm adding a little bit of yellow on top of the orange, not pressing too hard, to brighten the orange. Alright, so you get a kind of carrot colour. Okay, as you can see, so went yellow with the front piece. Putting in the window 
here. On this side, following that to the window panes. Alright. Alright, I put in a front door, two front doors, I put in some steps leading up. And this piece here, a little shadow here. So there's my house. Behind the house, I want to put in some trees. So I take this light green and I do this above right, to depict leaves. Right. I come behind this part of the house here. Making sure that I don't go into the house. Right? So, shape, scribble it and shape it. Shape your tree. Like this. Right? Maybe another one on this side to balance it out. Right? But then again, it all depends on your garden. Your house. What it looks like. Um, maybe you want to put in a coconut tree or put what you have, what you can see. All right. Then I come with the darker green now. All right. I don't want to cover all of the lighter green, but just here and there, I come with the darker green like that. I think I want to put some lovely lawn in front. So I'm going to use the lighter green. And here, I'm going to put in my grass. Right. I may leave a pathway in front where the stairs are, or the steps are. Right. So I'll do this side here. After having put the lighter green down as your grass, you have to ground the house by putting a darker shadow below. So use the darker green, the dark green pencil below the house. This will show that the house is actually grounded onto the grass by casting that shadow. Right? And here as well. We could actually put some plants sticking up like that. Some strokes like this. I right. can show some bush, grass, etc. So sharpen your green pencil, your dark green pencil, and put um like little pieces of grass sticking out to give a sense of reality so you start to get this effect the nearer to you the larger the clumps of grass become right the further back the smaller to show distance I'm going to put up some bric-a-brac tiling leading up, right? Now these are smaller in the distance and they will get bigger as it comes to you. For the windows, I'm going to take my blue light blue pencil and do these strokes to imply glass one long one short one long one short one long one short at an angle one long one short 
one long one short one long one short one long one short one long one short and there we are students with my 12 colored pencils I have drawn in I've colored in my house I put in a couple of trees I put a nice lawn in front with some bric-a-brac concrete paving I put in my clouds and my and my sun and we have a beautiful garden house right now again I want you to do your drawing I don't want this I don't want you to copy me I want to see what yours look like and ask your parents to email it to me on my email address right which will be Richard M Martinez 57 at gmail.com so when you finished your picture your parent will email that to me with your name and your school and your teacher thank you very much have a successful um, time enjoying this piece of work. Thank you. Bye-bye.